In this video, we'll bounce the equation H3PO4 plus FeOH2. That's phosphoric acid, and this is iron 2 hydroxide. It's a bit of an involved equation. Let's make it a little bit easier, and I'll show you how. I have three hydrogens, and then I'm considering PO4. This PO4 is called the phosphate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. I have one here, and then I have the two of them over here. So I'm just going to consider this one thing. So I have one of these PO4, these phosphate ions and then I have one iron, and then for my oxygens over here, I have two times the one, I have two of those, and I actually I forgot to count these two here, two times one. So I have five total hydrogen. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, we have two PO4s, we have three irons, and then we have just the one oxygen. We don't count these oxygens here with this because we've already counted them. Let's see what we can do. It looks like it might be easier to deal with the PO4 and the iron first and leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. So let's do that. Let's put a two in front of H3PO4 so we can balance our PO4s. So I have one PO4 times the two. That'll give me two of those. Those are balanced. Now I need to update my hydrogens. So I have three times two, six hydrogens, plus the two times the one, two hydrogens have eight hydrogens. All right, let's deal with the Fe. I can put a three here, so one times three. That'll give me three of the iron atoms. Those are balanced. Then for the oxygen, I have the two times the one, so the two times the three. That'll give me six oxygens. And the hydrogens, I need to update those. I have three times two, that's six, plus I have two times the one, that's two, and this three applies to everything, so the two times the three, six, that's 12 hydrogens. All right, where are we? It looks like the hydrogens and the oxygens are off. Let's change the coefficient on water here to fix the hydrogens. I'll put a six in front of the H2O, two times six, that's 12, and then one times six for the oxygen, that's six, and everything works out. This equation is balanced. The two things that really helped me with this, one was looking at this PO4 as just one item. That way I'm not counting so many oxygens and phosphoruses up. And the other is waiting to do the hydrogens and the oxygens till last. And they just really kind of worked out. Either way you do it, you'll end up with these coefficients for the balanced equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H3PO4 plus FeOH2. Thanks for watching.